Hello there everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this easy wire work bracelet. It looks like this. So I've just chosen to work with these materials, so some blue gemstone beads and then the copper wire. But it's quite an easy technique but you get a really nice effect to it. Almost a bit Egyptian like I think. And then you can just make your own clasp as well. So if you want to learn how to make this, then stay tuned. So these are the things that I'm going to be using. Now the wire that I'm going to be using are these two gauges. They're both regular round wire. The first one here is a 1mm gauge. And that's going to be kind of the core of the bracelet. And then this is a 0.4mm gauge and that's what we're going to be kind of doing the wrapping, you can see, all the embellishment with. Now as for the beads, you can really use many different sizes and shapes. I'm just using rounds in this case and I've got two different sizes just because I thought it'd be nice with kind of a graduated look to it. The small ones here, they're 6mm round gemstones and they're blue coated hematite. And then as for the larger ones here, they are 8mm rounds and these are blue coated agate. And you can obviously choose whatever you want. And then we'll also just need a few of our basic pliers. So let's get all the materials together and then let's get started. So the wire that we need is this. Now first off, I've cut a length of my 1mm wire here. And this needs to be about 50 centimeters long. It's just enough to go around your wrist really and then a bit extra to make the clasp as well. And then the other wires that I'm using is the 0.4mm wire here. And I've just cut four lengths of this of about 90 centimeters each. And that's what we're going to do the embellishment with. So these are the wires that we need to cut. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get my 1mm wire out. So the length of that that we already cut off. And I'm just going to work on one end first, because I'm just going to make the first part of my clasp. We might as well make that now before we then start embellishing the bracelet. So to do this, like I said, I'm working on the one end here. You just want to make sure that your piece of wire here is as straight as possible. And then I'm going to get my chain nose pliers. And then just go down maybe about 10 centimeters or so. It's really up to you how large you want this to be. In this case, I'm making the hook end here to begin with and then I'm just going to make the loop at the other end when we get there. But you place your pliers and your wire, bend it back and you want to keep going until it runs down the side of itself basically. So like this. And then we need to make this a little bit tighter. Like that. Just gradually put your pliers here right at the end where the bend is and just gently and gradually push it together so it gets tighter and tighter so just take your time doing this be gentle about it so you don't end up bending it out of shape and just make sure that both of them are coming straight down here and just do it until you're happy it's as tight as you want it to be so something a bit like this and then what I'm going to do is we need to then secure this. So just make sure they're lying straight next to each other like that. And then come down, however far down, what you need to make sure is what the length that you have on the other side here is what's going to make the hook part. Um, and this is going to be folded back around. So you want to kind of make it twice the length that you want it to be when it's done. So I'm going to have it about here and then I'm going to use the short tail that we bent down to then go I'm just going to bend it off first like this because then I'm going to use this to then wrap around the other wire and just do this gently because as you can see these two kind of want to separate but if you just take your time and do it gently and try and make sure to hold them together so just bend it around, kind of like if you were to make, if you were making a wrap loop or something. And then go around a few times here and just try and get your wraps here as nice and even as possible. And you can always keep adjusting, making sure this doesn't go too much out of shape. I've gone around twice, which is fine, it's going to hold by this. You can go around a few more times if you want to. But I'm going to leave it at this. And then instead of just cutting this off, what I'm going to do is actually use this a bit as an embellishment. Now you can 
leave it and do this at the end or you can just go in and do it now because obviously it might be a little bit in the way so for that what I'm going to do is get out my round nose pliers here and then go in at the very end you can cut it down a little bit which actually I think I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter just like that and then just go in with the round nose pliers right at the end of that wire and also towards the end of my pliers what I like to do just to get it as tight as possible and I'm just going to go in and start bending it to basically start making a spiral so you get a bit of a circle to begin with like this and just keep going in and then you can change to your chain nose pliers to make sure that it stays nice and flat and use them to go in the rest of the way and then obviously it's sticking out now what I'm going to do is just literally just bend it up into place and then just kind of squeeze it a little bit so we'll make sure that it lies nice and flat and that's just a nice way to finish off the ends of your wire and also add a bit of embellishment to it so that is the hook part now we haven't shaped it into the hook yet but I'm actually going to just wait to that till the end just so it doesn't is less chance of it getting caught while we're working with it then because we're just going to be able to go in and do that at the very end so once you're happy with that we're now ready to start the main part of the bracelet and adding our beads into it so what I'm going to do first is get the other wires attached to this so this is all the 0.4mm wires here so what I'm going to do is keep them all together make sure they're all kind of roughly at the same length so if you need to just adjust that do that and then I'm going to keep hold roughly in the middle and bring the ends together to find the middle of my wires here just do it gently and then here is where roughly the middle is of my wires I'm going to keep hold of that and then this is where I'm going to attach them to the bracelet or to the wire here and I'm just going to put it around the back here of the wire and then we just need to go around a couple of times to make sure that it stays attached basically. So just take one side at a time, working with all four lengths at the same time, because that's what we're going to be doing throughout. Go around to come back out the same side. So it's basically wrapping all the way around that base wire. And now if you want to you can do it one more time with the other side just so it's nice and a bit more secure. Just like that. And then just press it down as far as it'll go to kind of make sure you don't have too much bulk there so that's now this wire attached so what we can do now is start adding the beads in so what I'm gonna do is add one bead at a time just because I feel it gives you a little bit more control and less risk of them falling off because the other end is still open obviously otherwise you'll have to put them on and then just secure the other end so they don't come off while you're working with it that's completely up to you you can also add all of them. I just personally feel you have a bit more control if you just add one at a time. And I've just started out with one of my 6mm beads here. Just because I'm, I'm going to graduate from smaller and then to the large ones in the middle and then back to smaller again. So this is where we're at. I've just added one bead. And then I'm just going to start. What I'm going to do is always start with my right side. You can also do the opposite. That's fine. But then I'm going to, it's coming from the back here. And then I'm going to go around the side of my bead. And what I'm going to make sure, the only thing I try and make sure of is that the wires are kind of lying flat next against each other when you come around. And then come around to the top of the bead on the up. So instead of coming from the back, you're now on top of the wire while you're going around the side of the bead. So like that, come back around to the same side again. So it looks like this. And you can always just push it down a little bit with your fingers. And don't worry too much about this, the base wire, moving around because you can always adjust that at the end. So that's the one side. The other side, going to do the same thing. Make sure the wires are somewhat flat here. Come around the side of the bead. 
to the top of both the bead and the wire and then back around the back again. So just like that. So it's going to look like this and again just you can adjust your wires, press them down the side of the bead a little bit if you want to. So that's now the first one attached. So now we need to add the next bead and then you add that next bead to your wire and what you can also always do every time I kind of add a bead I just before I wrap that I use that bead to just gently push down a little bit on the section that I've already done so like that but then we repeat the exact same thing I'm going to start from my right side again this is what I'm going to do throughout it's just to get a nice and even look to it so again they're coming from underneath your wire take it around the side of your bead and to the top of the bead and on top of the wire all four wires at the same time just try and make sure that they're lying kind of next to each other rather than crossing over too much and around the back again and then that's coming back up to the same side and then we do the other side just kind of smooth them out first also so you don't have any kinks in them you'll be able to see that around the side of the bead to the top of the bead and the wire and back to the other side so just like that and now if they're back in that position from coming underneath your wire and you can always just gently push them together a little bit and there you have your next bead attached and you just continue like this throughout now if you're just using the same side continue doing this like I said I'm going to graduate my bead so at some point I'm going to use the bigger ones instead but that's just a design choice so you just keep doing this until your bracelet is almost large enough. So I've now kept going here and I reached the length that I want my bracelet to be. So I have my larger ones here in the middle. And then what we need to do is, I've just got the last one to do. But what I'm going to do is obviously we need to finish off the length of these weaving wires as well. So what I'm going to do instead of just going around like this with both sides, just like we've done throughout, I'm going to kind of take one side around a little bit just to see where the wires lie and then what I'm going to do first is grab the very top one so now we're taking one wire at a time so just grab one at a time the top one to begin with bring that around on its own and then just go around that base wire a couple of times underneath the other ones here and just make sure to press it down towards the bead just like this and I'm going to finish it at the front and then I grab the next one so we'll still keep that same look to it and pattern by just doing them in order like this but we're just doing this to be able to finish off the wires make sure to push them down and then finish it at the front and the reason that I'm finishing it at the front is because I don't want the ends to be sticking at the back here and then rubbing against your skin. And then grab the next one, do the same thing. Go around like this. So securing them completely in place. And you just use your nails and that to press them down so they lie nice and close. And the last one, straight at the top, and go around like this, just the same. So that's the one side. So as you can see, it still has the same look to it, but we're managing to finish, in, to finish off all these wires by wrapping them around individually a couple of times. And that's the way we want to do that. So then what I'm going to do... So obviously they're still there, the rest of them attached. So I'm going to grab my wire cutters here and then just take one at a time, go in and cut off right by on the upper side here, so at the front of the bracelet and cut them off. So they're really short, so they're only basically as close as you can get. So what you'll find is you'll just have, when you feel it, a little bit sticking out there and then get your chain nose pliers and then just kind of press them in and what I like to do is go in a little bit from the side and then roll with the direction the wire is going in so you kind of roll in them into place 
that way they're going to be hidden in between the actual ends are going to lie hidden in between all the wires so it won't really be sticking out so just like that so just keep doing that until you can't feel them at all because that means they won't catch on anything so that's the one side so now we need to do the other side and we're basically going to be doing the same thing so take your wires in one go as if you were going to do another one like the bracelet and then once you kind of have it in position then go in and just take the top one bring that over first so down to one wire at a time and just go across like you would have done if we were actually doing the same wrap as throughout the bracelet just wrapping it across like this let it go out to the other side take the very next one same thing so we're just repeating the exact same step as the other side we're just kind of wrapping these on top of them just to make it blend in with the rest of the bracelets with the pattern that we have on there the next one just wrapping a couple of times with each one so they're going to stay in place there and the last one there we go just like this and again you can just squeeze them down make sure you don't have any gaps so then now are they kind of they look like the other ones did before they're just coming up to the opposite side so the same principle again take your cutters and then go in and cut off the excess here on the top of the front side of the bracelet so like that and once you've done that you'll have the same again have little ends sticking out you'll be able to feel them and then you just want to get your chain nose pliers and press them down same principle I like to kind of roll in the direction that the wire is going that's really going to make them squeeze them in there in between everything so like that that's then these wires finished off and you have basically the main part of your bracelet done now and that end all that's left to do now is do the other part of the clasp on this end and in that case we did the hook down here so we need to do the loop up here so to do that first thing we just need to make sure that the wire running through the bracelet is sitting how we want it to sit so that means go back to your hook end and just make sure that what you want to be pointing to the front is on the front side the part that on your bracelet you want to be the front as well so it's going to sit correctly like this because you then want to make sure you put the bend in in the right way so just to make sure it sits right and then go up to the other end and then I'm going to get my chain nose pliers and on this end this is the front part so what I'm going to do is kind of put it to the side and then here I'm going to go just a little bit above a couple of millimeters above where my weaving wires end so I have a bit of space there and then bend it back so you have a bit of an angle like that and then what I'm going to do is get my six step bell making pliers now you can use anything for this really you can use a pen or something else just something that has the size and shape of the loop that you want so I'm just gonna use this just gonna use the biggest one I think so place it on top here it's just like doing a wrap loop basically on top of that bend have your wire come back around all the way replace your pliers all the way back again so that when you look at it like this you have a circle so that's basically going to be a loop and then to secure that in place we need to do a wrap loop so I'm going to grab my chain nose pliers again and I like to place them on top of my loop like this and really grab onto it nicely so the loop itself doesn't move so it's not going to kind of lose its shape when we're doing this wrap and then just take the long tail and start wrapping around below that loop because that's where we're going to how we're doing the wrap loop basically so just a couple of times until you feel it's nice and secure make sure they're as tight as possible you can always go in with your chain nose pliers if you feel like the wrap is a little bit 
loose and just kind of press it in. But remember if you have, if you've gone over the point where you have your weaving wires, that kind of feels like there's only so much you can press it. So just like this, just a couple of times and I'm going to have it come at the front again and the way I'm going to finish this off is basically just like the other side I want to do a little swirl so instead of just cutting it down just add a bit of embellishment it's also a bit of a more secure way of finishing it off it's going to be less likely to catch on things so cut your wire down how long you cut it is going to then help determine the size of your swirl here grab some round nose pliers place them at the very end of your wire and I like to just get as tight a swirl as possible so I go right at the end of my pliers as well and then start bending that back I'm just going to cut off the very beginning once I've made the loop because it just makes it a bit more like a circle shape and go back in and keep swirling all the way down And now whether you like quite a tight spiral or a loose one is completely up to you. I like it to be quite tight. And then you might, you'll might you get to a point where you're going to have to use your flat nose or chain nose pliers to then help the spiral along. So grab onto the spiral and then continue that way. All the way in. And then as you're moving in the spiral is going to end up being placed on top of some of your other wires here and you can kind of place it where you want really it's really good as well to then hide something or hide some of the ends because like I said the weaving wires are cut off at the front so by placing the spiral on top it protects them as well so that's how you finish off that basically that's now the loop done we can go back to the other end and all that's left to do is just shape the hook so it's actually going to be a hook so just take your round nose pliers or your bail making pliers I'm going to use these and then just choose what direction you want your hook to go in so I go down just a little bit below halfway like that and then I'm going to take the top of it here and bend it back on itself so you get that kind of hook shape and the final touch I'm just going to do is down here right at the tip of it I'm going to just put a bit of a bend in that outward again so it looks just like that so that's how I like to do my hooks because then it's going to slot in nicely in the loop and the last thing to do is then actually shape the bracelet and you can also just do any final adjustments before you do that if some of it need to be a little bit straightened up just do that Otherwise, just start kind of gently bending your bracelet here. If you have something that has the size and the shape you want it to be, you can just use that to bend it around. Otherwise, just gently go all the way around. Gentle bends. So not go one place and do a big bend. You want to gently go back and forth to make sure you get an even curve to the piece and do the loop and the hook as well and then once you get there the loop goes into the hook like this and then there you have your finished bracelet it's completely ready to wear now so that's how you make this wire work bracelet quite easy and simple the technique wise but gives you a nice effect with how you're putting the wires across there. So this is how you make it. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you very much for watching. Hello there everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this wire work bracelet made from a simple three strand braid adding beads. And this is what it looks like. So this is the effect you get and this is using rondelle beads but you can use other kinds as well, other shapes and then you have the clasp so if you want to learn how to make this 